Hi, um, I got a, a request for me to show how to use uh, a TENS unit. So I'm just going to show you one of my TENS units. I have, I have another one with four, um, just four prongs, so like two of these holes. Um, but this one is an eight one, so like you can cover more area with this. So this one I got off of Amazon. Um, so it comes in like a, a box like this like a little briefcase type box and it comes with an instruction manual but um it's pretty easy to use it comes with a spot to put batteries in and it also comes with a charger wall charger so if you run out of batteries and you're using it at night or whatever you can just plug it in and not waste your batteries i use it for um exams because you know, just to kind of distract my my mind from my body, and so I could concentrate more on the sensation of the electrodes rather than what's the pain that I'm feeling in my in my extremities. Um, I have a lot of back pain, so um, I have since I have two of these, I put um, four electrodes on my back, um, right where I guess I'll show you. Um, the spine area back here, it's like, I put one on this side, one on this side, and then higher up, I put one on here, and then one here, and then my hips also um, hurt when I sit for very long periods of time, so I'll put them right in, um, I'm not going to pull down my pants, but like right here, and then, then another one right here, and and then for my knees, I I use my other tens unit to. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this, but I'll move my camera. Um, over here, sorry, this is like my knee. I use. Sorry, I use. I put them here like above my above the kneecap area because if you put it on your kneecap it's going to feel very strange it's not going it's not very pleasant to have it on the kneecap at least for me and it's a lot i get a lot of pain below my kneecaps too right here even when i press in it it always hurts so um a lighter voltage for that area is um what i use so it can kind of stimulate just the skin. It kind of massages it. I'm always massaging my knee to try to distract myself from what's happening deep inside it. But um, I notice uh, uh, if I'm having a lot of leg spasms, what calms it down is by putting electrode, sorry, putting an electrode here, like right above, like my my uh, lower thigh, and then one. And behind my cap, I have like my snow boots on snowing today, but um, one like right behind my cap right here. So I, I there's pretty much you have to play around with your your body and put it in areas that can intercept some of the pain signals, and you'll you'll feel the right spot to put it. It's not. Everyone's different, you know, you know, all of us EDS people are have all different types of issues and different pressure points and all that. But those are the points that help me are the ones above I showed you my back, the ones above my knee here and then by my, my lower thigh on the corners of my knees and then in the back of my calf. And um right now I have knee braces on, so I for exams I I put it underneath my knee brace and my knee brace kind of holds it in place these are what they look like these are the little electrodes and they're very sticky they're restickable you can't you just put it on your skin no lotion so it could stick and then you hook it up it doesn't matter which one because you're gonna hook up another one like I'll hook up both like wherever you need it sometimes like you have restless leg syndrome when you're sleeping at night and it's 
it's just keeping you up from for that little like electric pain where you just kind of can't sit still this intercepts it pretty well um so what i'm doing is i put they give you these things right like these little wires you hook it up into you have to have both of them hooked up in order for it to work at least for one of the strings you put it wherever you feel you need it to and this is something you're gonna have to like figure out yourself whichever spot works best for you so you put it on your skin and then um, hook it up into one of these areas it doesn't matter which one and then it opens there's a little door press the on button and you see there's different uh, you of course I only plugged it into channel one so I'm only gonna use channel one so like this is for channel one this is for channel two channel three channel four it's pretty simple but um I already have it set so see when the light is blinking and then you just go up press up to your the intensity that feels best you you might have to go up a little go up to the point of where it's uncomfortable and then go down one and as the longer you have it on the more sensitive you get to it so you might have to just keep adjusting it as you wear it um like for my exams the beginning of the exam it's on like 15 and then at the end of the exam I have it up to 23 so because you know you get desensitized to it and you start feeling your body and it just you know stops working after a while but um you just up it up the up the frequency and it does help it's it helps me get through my exams and um and it helps me sometimes get through the night with all the spasming and pain and of just you know of the day I guess my body is just kind of like shaking it out I don't know but when I get those sensations it's, it's pretty rough uh, I hope that's enough to like help you out with it but it's definitely something to to purchase and try you have to experiment with it though um, to figure out what your your levels are and what points intercepts the pain as much as it can for you because everyone's different um i want to show everyone my my mug zebra yes i've been embracing the whole zebra style and trying to make it i guess more of a classy type of uh of a i don't know fabric or print um i'm uh, I, my website for edsers.com it's it's going very slowly I am in school and I'm taking I'm full-time so it's a, it's very difficult for me to just keep posting but there was an article that I wanted to share with everyone about this doctor um, in my area New Jersey that just I don't know where I put it I will find it and I'll post it up on my site about a doctor just um, making unnecessary unnecessary uh, surgeries and I guess you know results not reading them correctly so like when they're really serious and you can do something about it he really doesn't do anything he just kind of collects the money and he's been double charging insurance companies which has happened to me they charge the your insurance they charge you they charge they charge for services they don't provide um or they'll do the test halfway a lot of neurologists are are famous for that like it's very difficult to trust doctors nowadays and cause it's all about money it's not about care so i've been working on actually that doctor database it's very very difficult to find doctors out there that are knowledgeable and honest but um, I got my all the envelopes and all the doctor packets as soon as I as I contact a doctor that is okay with me uh, with learning about EDS or already is knowledgeable I send it out and 
have have the list already like accumulating i am trying to get i want to take a graphic design class so that i can figure out how to make my website more interactive and um more attractive more appealing easier to use because the the uh the map of the u.s is not you know it's not active but that's what i want i want it to be every state to be a button and then within that link or that state link i want either different regions so it could be easier for you guys to maneuver through it and find a doctor that actually has good credentials knows about eds already you don't have to educate them um because they're educating themselves or um like any doctor that i put up on the database will be getting frequent um n frequent test results research results all these things about whatever connective tissue disorders come out, whatever research comes out, they will be getting copies from me. I will be sending them out so that they can stay on top of it because you know, we all know doctors don't do their own research. Like, it's very difficult for them to even spend five minutes with us. So to, to spend five minutes by themselves doing research on a patient that they're not really getting paid to see at that time, if they're not getting paid to do what they're gonna do, most of them don't do it. Um, but I have met some doctors that actually do go out of their way and use their own personal time to do research. So those doctors will be up. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to post the raw list and then it's just in alphabetical order of states and then whatever is closest to you guys, you can utilize for now until I figure out how to get the website. I'm doing everything by myself. I'm tr learning HTML, writing along with, you know, taking my genetics classes and I'm really trying to get the ball rolling and help you guys because I know everyone is in pain and I, today was pretty rough and it's just, you know, it's just 11 a.m. It's been very difficult walking today, um, but, you know, I'm dealing. I got my back brace for when I, when I can't take it anymore. I had a really bad uh, attack this past weekend. It was crazy. My the the muscles in my back were just jumping. It was like it was so painful. Um, the only thing that really alleviated it was ice. Like I tried to numb it out with ice, and it did help. So, me if it's a good suggestion if anyone has muscle spasms that are just kind of really irking you or killing you, don't put heat. Don't like ice is very uncomfortable and you're already uncomfortable from the from the spasms but the ice actually lowers the intensity of the spasms so push through that you know that initial uh that initial reaction to the cold that pain reaction that i i always get pain when i have cold anything cold on me it's like a shock but when it comes to muscle spasms, it actually lowers the intensity of it. So, um, so just I guess bear with me with the website. I've been really busy in trying to trying to put up useful information. Like the National the EDS National Foundation, their doctor registry is a mess. It's not organized. A lot of the information is incorrect. Um, a lot of doctors don't even know they're on there. I feel like they just googled a bunch of doctors and just posted it and I I want every single doctor that is gonna be on my list knows they're on my list and they know of EDS they sometimes might even have a patient on EDS and they're gonna be receiving continuous information on EDS more fans any connective tissue disorder they're going to receive info on from us so that's my goal um, just Bear with me. I'm, I'm really working at it. Uh, I hope everyone's well. And if you need anything else, just message me and I will try my best to post any info that you guys need. Okay. Take care.